Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share today's video with you guys because I'm going to be showing you the updated organization and how I store my makeup inside of my Alex 5 drawers. I did a video like this around three years ago here on my channel now and oh my gosh, so many of you guys absolutely loved that video. It is one of my most popular and my most viewed videos on my channel every single month even though I uploaded it three years ago and it makes me so happy that so many of you guys have found my channel through that video and not only that but you have found that video so helpful the IKEA Alex 5 drawers are incredibly popular here on YouTube for storing makeup amongst the beauty community and I know it can be hard to find organizers for it or just kind of figure out where to start when it comes to organizing the inside of your Alex drawers so I figured I would make an updated video like this just to give you guys more information on the dimension of the drawers what organizers I have inside how many fit in each drawer, what type of organizer is best for each makeup product. I definitely would say if I had to criticize my makeup organization and storage at all, is that I think I could do a better job at maximizing the space, really finding organizers that fit like exact from side to side to my Alex drawer without wasting any space. But it is hard to do that. It can be also expensive to find organizers that fit perfectly in Alex drawers, but this is what what has been working for me. This is how I love to store my makeup. All of the organizers that I talk about in today's video will be listed and linked down below so you guys can find them easily. And I believe that's it. So I know this is going to be a long video, so definitely make sure to sit back, relax. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you wanna see how I organize and store my makeup in my Alex drawers, keep on watching. I'm gonna start off by giving you guys a little bit of an overview of the dimensions of the actual drawers. Again, these are the Alex 5 drawers, but I'm sure you guys already know that if you clicked on this video. If you guys want to see like a full in-depth assembly of my vanity, the different pieces that I have of my vanity, the tabletop and everything like that, I do have a full vanity transformation here on my channel. I will have it linked down below. For today's video, I'm really just going to focus on how I organize these drawers and the different dimensions of organizers and stuff like that. The IKEA Alex 5 drawers do consist of two different drawer sizes. The first two drawers on the top of the IKEA Alex drawers are going to be a little bit shorter, a little bit more shallow, but I feel like they still are a pretty decent size. And then as you move down, which I will show you guys a little bit later, the three bottom drawers are going to be about two inches deeper than the first two drawers, just allowing for like taller storage and stuff like that. The shorter drawers in these Alex 5 units measure 11 and a half across wide this way. They are 20 and a half long going back, or maybe some of you might call that depth. From here all the way to the back of the drawer measures 20 and a half inches. And then for height, they're about two inches from the bottom to the top here on these sides. So it is a pretty nice size drawer. I find that sometimes anything taller or that sticks up kind of catches sometimes if you guys can see like these little tubes back here but for the most part a lot of smaller products fit in these drawers now we are going to get into how i actually organize these smaller drawers in the alex drawer again keep in mind that all of the alex drawers have the same width across this way so anything that i talk about width wise is going to apply to all of the drawers you guys know i love organization i am constantly showing you guys the organization of my alex drawer or talking Talking about new organization pieces, I have tried a ton of organizers from the Dollar Store and TJ Maxx, and not to say that those aren't good, because I think you can find very affordable organizers at places, as I mentioned, Dollar Store, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, and some of these I have found in those places, but I've just had the most luck on Amazon when it comes to having cohesive organizers, organizers that I know are good quality, and just ensuring that I get multiple of the same kind. I find that at places like TJ Maxx, you might find one or two and it might not be enough or you want your organizers to match. I talk about the story organizers all the time because they are so, so awesome. Most of these story organizers were purchased myself and then after Story saw me talking about them in my original Alex Drawer video, they were really kind enough to send me 
organizers to kind of fill and organize the rest of my drawer. So some of the organizers are gifted, but I would pay for them time and time again. The first one that I want to talk about are these that house my mascaras. I also have my brow pencils and brow powders in there. And I also have another one back here for my eyeliners, gel eyeliners, pigments, and stuff like that. And this is their nine by three by two organizer. I find this to be a really great organizer for the Alex drawer because of how skinny it is. It's really ideal, again, for mascara type products like this. It just holds tubes and pencils and stuff like that so nicely. I have a lot of these throughout my makeup collection because they are a really great size for a lot of things. These specific organizers do come in a six pack for $15.99. So I just wanted to show you guys that you can fit all six of the organizers in the Alex drawer. I'm just going to move some things around so you guys can see that three of these nine inch organizers fit side by side, but you cannot fit a fourth one. A fourth one is like just shy of fitting in here, but the Alex drawer is literally just half an inch too small to get another one in here. If you guys can see right there, it just doesn't squeeze down the side. So I would just say that's the only downsize of these is that I find it really hard to maximize my space with these type of organizers. But then at the same time, it gives me room to use other types of organizers or put some things down the side of my drawer. In the front of the drawer is where I keep my single eyeshadows. And this single eyeshadow organizer is by By Allegory. The measurement of this is about four and a half wide here, 8.6 inches long on the side, and it is just a little bit over an inch high. So it fits really nice in the Alex drawer and I just keep it right here. As you guys can see, it really pairs nicely with these other two story organizers because it is a little bit wider and just maximizes the space compared to if I was going to put another one of these skinny organizers in this spot. I totally spaced out. I did wanna show you guys that also two of the nine inch organizers do fit back to back and you will have about two inches space free as well. Another gem from Amazon that I love and I have a lot of in my collection is this variety pack of organizers. This is the same story brand, but this variety pack is $15.99 and you're going to get a bunch of different sizes of organizers. This one is six by three. So it's just a cute, nice little organizer for little palettes. I keep some extra like eyeshadow things and stuff like that in here. I wish it would fit this way in between these organizers. I feel like it would look so much cuter, but it still fits nice in the drawer next to the other three inch. And then the variety pack also comes with these cute little cubes. I promise you guys this video is not sponsored by Story, but they just make some of the best drawer organizers that I have found. So this is their little three by three cube, if you guys can see. I'll empty it real quick so you guys can see what it looks like empty. This is just like the cutest little cup container. It kind of fills extra spaces in the Alex drawer. Next up is probably my favorite drawer that I'm going to show you guys in my whole entire Alex drawer. I recently just reorganized this and bought another new organizer just to kind of maximize the space in here. And oh my gosh, you guys, tell me this is not so satisfying. So this is the drawer that holds most of my compacts, anything that is a blush, bronzer, or highlighter in compact form. In here, I have four compact organizers going backwards. Now I have it this way because the compact organizer that I have, it only fits three side by side if you wanna go ahead and place them vertically in the drawer like this. So just to kind of make sure a fourth one would fit and I had some more storage for my compacts. I put them horizontal going backwards and a lot more fits in the drawer opposed to having them the other way. The first three organizers in here I had first and these ones unfortunately are no longer available. These ones are by the brand Venser and I purchased them for around seven or eight dollars each. They are the large compact organizer, but these were my original compact organizers. I really like them because they're like a really thick kind of material. They're very sturdy. I'm not sure if they're like acrylic or just a really awesome hard plastic, but these are probably some of the most high quality organizers that I found on Amazon. So I have three of those in my collection, but once I saw that they were no longer available and I knew I was going to do this video, I went hunting for a dupe that was not that much more expensive and I definitely found one. So the fourth compact organizer over here, 
basically looks like the same thing. I'm sure you guys can see just that really awesome clear acrylic or clear hard plastic. And this one is by the brand HB Life and this retails for $9. So it still is really affordable. When I tell you guys, it's like the same exact thing as the original ones that I have in here. It truly is, if anything, I feel like this one has a little bit more of like a weight to it and it's even nicer quality than the other ones that I had. So again, at $9, on Amazon. I love this and it is the same exact dimensions as the older one. So if you guys have the Venser ones already from my last video and you want to add to your compact drawer, these are the same exact dimensions measuring 9.8 inches long, three and a half inches wide here and two inches tall. With these compact organizers, there is going to be about a little bit under two inches of space, like 1.7 inches on the side here. I love using the little side spaces for things like this, like a little highlighter palette or something like that. And then one last thing that I want to mention about these organizers is what fits and what doesn't fit. So for instance, just to show you guys how wide the actual slots are, Something as thick as like this Physician Formula Brick does fit. The Milani Baked Blushes, I would say, are pretty thick and they fit really nicely in there. When it comes to the thinner ones, like the Wet n Wild ones, you can fit two in a slot. I just had an extra slot, so I spread them out. I do have some things doubled throughout the drawer, as you guys can see. You could fit like two e.l.f. blushes next to each other, so you definitely can play around with the widths of these compacts. I find that there is a lot of width to them. I'm sure a lot of you guys have the butter bronzer. Something like that is not going to fit in this compact organizer. So that is why I have the extra storage in the back of the drawer. Or you can even go ahead and just do something like this. And I feel like when you open up the drawer, people like won't even know that you don't have it in a slot. So that's another reason why I like having the extra room down the side. It's just to fit some larger products, some products that might be a little bit more awkward. If you guys see here, the Jeffree Star highlighters are way too big to fit in something like this, as well as the Stila bronzers that are just these really large and like square compacts. They don't even come close to fitting in here. So you could either put them down the side, the drawer still does close really, really nicely, or you could just go ahead and store them in a separate container like I do. If you guys have this unscrewed to where you can pull out your whole drawer and reach all the way in the back here, you can fit one more of these compact organizers going backwards. Six of them is just shy of fitting because that means you have 21 inches going back of the organizer and the drawer can only hold up to 20 and a half, which sucks. I wish it was just a little bit shorter so you could fit six of them, but you can fit five going back in the drawer if you place the compact organizer organizers horizontally here like I do. Here's just a quick side view of this drawer. I wanted to show this to you guys because I have all the compacts facing this way. I do sit right in the middle here when I do my makeup. So just when I go ahead and open up my drawer, I could see everything that I have and I could just go ahead and grab what I want. I could see all of my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. I used to keep my compacts just in like an open organizer, but then they would be like squished together like this, if that makes any sense. And I would just be able to see like this part of the compacts and I felt like I wasn't maximizing everything that I had. I am very much like an out of sight, out of mind type of person. So just being able to see everything that I have spread out really works for me in terms of cycling through my collection and getting use out of every single thing that I have. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into the deeper drawers of the Alex organization and some of these details. As I mentioned earlier, these dimensions are going to be almost almost the same. The only thing that changes is the height of the drawer going from the bottom to the top here. This drawer also measures 11 and a half across, 20 and a half deep all the way to the back. But instead of being around two inches tall, it's about four inches tall. I really like these drawers if you guys are someone that likes to stand up your products, as you can see in this corner here. I'll zoom you guys in a little bit. So hopefully you could see, I know it's like a little bit hard of an angle to see down here. I do have some products standing. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation standing. Something like this just fits in the drawer. This like just clears height wise. So anything else shorter does fit. Even if you guys have like 
all of your foundation standing up like this, the drawer is going to go ahead and close if you like to stand up your products. I would just be careful with anything a little bit taller like a setting spray you guys can see that's not going to clear. So I would just make sure your products are under four inches tall if you want to stand them up like this. My foundations and my primers are probably one of my favorite things that I have organized in here. Again, I love being able to see everything spread out like this. And for my foundations and my primers, I'm using another story organizer, except these are the nine by six by two organizers. And you can get these in a pack of three for $15. I have stored my foundations a lot of ways in the past, and this is a really great way to store foundations. I would say if you have a lot more foundations, you could either stack them in here or stand them up in your drawer. But as someone who doesn't have a ton of foundation, I love this organizer. I love being able to see all of the foundations that I have spread out. It's a really awesome size I find for base products. You can fit a couple of these going backwards in the drawer. The one thing that I feel like would make these organizers so much better is if two of them fit vertically in the drawer here. But unfortunately, again, the drawer is just a half an inch too small. They do not fit side by side vertically. I will show you guys if I move the two organizers to try to fit side by side. It's like literally just short of fitting, like less than half an inch. The way that I have these stored in my drawer horizontally, one on top of the other here, I do have about two and a half inches on the side free, so I could go ahead and find an organizer that's like two inches. Or as I've been doing for a lot of the drawers, I like to just put some extra things that don't fit in the organizer to try to fill up the space here. So in this drawer, I have some foundations, I have some extra like primer and stuff like that that I just like to kind of put there and it fills up the space nicely and it also just leaves for a lot of extra storage space if I ever need it. Something else that I really love about these story containers is that they are stackable. So let's say you guys want to even further maximize the space in your drawer and you don't have the room to have everything spaced out, you can go ahead and just stack these right into one another. And then there you have your foundations and your primers and everything stored right in one little stack space. So I feel like that also saves a lot of room as well if you guys have more product than me or you're just, again, trying to save some space. But I personally do have the room that I like to spread everything out and see everything that I have. The very last thing in the back here that I have are some setting sprays and priming sprays. This container here I really love. I actually found this in the Target clearance section. It was literally, can you guys see that? $2.48 and I actually worked at Target at the time so I got I think like a 50% discount on this and I paid like a dollar something insanely cheap. So definitely again, check like clear in sections, TJ Maxx, Target. I really like this one because it has a rubberized bottom so nothing slips around. But I actually found this in the kitchen clear in section because I believe this is meant for like kitchen since it has the rubber bottom, it's wipeable. Definitely make sure to check out like your kitchen clearance in Target or the bathroom clearance. Sometimes they have a lot of awesome storage that you guys can use in your Alex drawers. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this drawer pretty quickly because there's not a lot to show you guys in here. So basically in this drawer, I keep cream products, cream highlighters, bronzers, as well as all of my face palettes. In here, I have two six by six organizers that just house my cream products and some smaller palettes. So just to show you guys here, these are the six by six. Again, unfortunately, they don't fit side by side in the drawer, but they fit really nicely going back and you can fit three going back if you wanted to in these drawers. I really like these six by six because they're just a really nice square organizer. Again, just two inches tall and they are stackable as well if you have more flat things in the drawer. So I have this one here which houses some of my Tristique crayons which are some of the best cream products on the market, you guys. I've been loving their bronzer stick in Brazilian bronze. I love that. And then I also have another one of these six by six organizers. Just to hold some of my smaller face palettes, I have my ColourPop highlighters in here, some more 
cream highlighters. I have a ton of these six by six organizers you guys will see in my other Alex drawer when I jump on over to that in a sec because the size, like the length is perfect for lip glosses and liquid lipsticks. As for larger palettes, I don't use any organizers even for eyeshadows. I just keep them stacked against each other or even like laid back flat in the drawer like my Jaclyn palette here. Even in this bottom drawer, just to show you guys really quickly, I just kind of have my eyeshadow palettes stacked up in there one on top of the other. Now moving on to my next set of Alex 5 drawers. In the first drawer here, I keep my concealers and powders and everything like that. And a lot of these organizers are the same as some that I've already shown you. I just kind of want to show you guys which products that I keep in what, just so you can kind of get a sense of how I individually organize everything. Right up in the front here, I have my concealers. Now this is the same organizer that you guys saw holding my foundations and primers, the nine by six by two. I just flipped it vertically and I find that it is absolutely perfect for concealers when it is flipped vertically. Just so I could really see everything, I kind of have them laid out like drugstore on the top, high end on the bottom. And this is how I've been storing my concealers. Can you guys see my dog in the corner there? He's kind of the same color as my carpet, but I'm pretty sure you can see him. <laughs> Ever since I upgraded my concealers to this large organizer, it has been perfect. I love being able to see everything that I have. I find that I'm getting much more use out of my concealer, so I have been loving this. I have a couple more of those smaller organizers from Story here from the miscellaneous pack. I use one of these smaller cube ones to hold some Q-tips. This is a really awesome idea if you guys make a mess out of your makeup or your mascara or your eyeliner like I do and you always wanna have some Q-tips on hand. One of these little three by three organizers is perfection for Q-tips. And right up in the front here, I have a six by three organizer from the Variety Pack. And this houses all of my sponges. Now I definitely wouldn't say this is my favorite way to store sponges. This is definitely temporary. I don't like storing sponges in clear things because as you guys can see, it gets dirty very easily, especially once I use a sponge and just throw it in here dirty. But this six by three organizer right now is holding seven sponges. I would say I could squeeze a couple more in there if I really wanted. Here I have found one of my favorite way to store my powders and that is in another one of these six by six square organizers. In my opinion, I think this is just perfect for powders because you can line them up. I could totally go ahead and probably get like one or two of those compact organizers for my powders, but I find that powders can be grouped together like this. I can, for the most part, tell them apart, but I don't know, I don't have as many powders as I do blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So this has just been working really well for me to have all of my powders here. And I separated them as loose powders and then pressed powders on this side. All right, so the last drawer that I want to show you guys in today's organization video is the drawer that houses all of my lip products. I have struggled long and hard with organizing this and I still don't love it. I don't love how it looks, but I found that these organizers fit lip products really nicely as I mentioned to you guys before. I have three of these six by six organizers. They fit beautifully from the front to the back of the drawer. In the first one here, I'll show you guys, this fits all of my lip glosses so nicely. I mean, I have a lot of lip gloss, so I definitely have them stacked up high as you guys can see but there's just something about the shape and size of these six by six organizers that are perfect for lip products. So I would highly recommend these if you guys don't know how to store your glosses or your liquid lipsticks. In this middle one, I have all of my nude and pink liquid lipsticks here. And I have another one in the back for more of my bright color and like fun, weird color type of liquid lipsticks. To store my lip crayons and some lip balms, I have another one of those long skinny organizers. This is awesome for lip pencils as you guys can see here i have my color pop just a tint i have all of my tristique lip crayons they fit beautifully in something like this that's like more long and skinny. I'm sure you guys can see I have just my lip liners chilling in the drawer in this corner here. That is because I am working on how I want to organize my lip liners. I really would like to get another one of these skinny organizers to put either, I don't think it'll fit next to it, but maybe back to back. 
used to put all my lip liners, but I'm also kind of considering putting them in a little cup on top of my vanity. So for now, temporarily, I just have all of my lip liners sitting in the space on the side here. Lastly, for my bullet lipsticks, I have this by Allegory Organizer, which I absolutely love. This is their 24 slot lipstick organizer, and it has been amazing for storing lipsticks. Almost all shapes and sizes of lipstick that I've owned and that I have in my collection fit in here. Actually, I'm pretty sure all lipsticks that I've tried fit in here. I definitely think eventually I'm going to need to get another one of these and I'm going to have to reorganize this drawer somehow because it is pretty full at this point. All right, you guys, so that is going to complete this video. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. I'm so sorry if this was a long one, but I just like to talk a lot when it comes to organization and just making sure you guys have all of the measurements and all of the details that you guys need to organize your Alex drawers. If you guys want to see my original video of this, you definitely can go check it out. My organization was a little bit different, but I'm sure it'll still be helpful. If you guys want to go view that video and as I mentioned earlier all of these organizers will be listed as well as linked down below if you guys want to go ahead and check them out or purchase them for your own organization I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this video and found it helpful if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up it really helps me out also make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave I would love to have you guys here as part of my little YouTube fam if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos click that notification bell down below and you'll get notified every single time that I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.